Oh, she's the New York Times best-selling author of Miracles Now, who reckons she can change your life with tips on how to manage stress and anxiety and still find success, love and happiness. Impossible? Well, not according to Gabrielle Bernstein, who's in the capital, with one mission, to help us reach our life goals. And um, Gabrielle is here now. Thank you so much for joining us, Gabrielle. So happy to be here. So, look, first of all, let me find out a little bit about yourself, about you. Um, how exactly did you get into this? Nine years ago, uh, living in New York City, I was living in a very different way than I am today as a self-help book author and motivational speaker. I was actually representing uh, nightclubs. I owned a PR business. Wow. And so you know what happens when you spend a lot of time in nightclubs. Uh, and so it, my, as you guys may say, I got a little dodgy. Is that right? Does that make sense to you? Dodgy yes. is the word we so use. So I got yeah, a little dodgy. <laughs> and um, I was 25 years old, and I was looking at my life, and it just really was not flowing. I was really hooked into a party scene, hooked yeah. into my work addiction and everything was falling apart around me and so I made a commitment to start to change my ways and really focus on my personal growth and my inner development and then very quickly mm -hmm. I felt a call that I had to start to carry the messages that I was applying in my own life and teach them to my generation so, so what are you teaching people exactly I'm teaching people how to reduce stress yeah. how to navigate their chaotic lives how to practice forgiveness how to change their perceptions in every corner of life whether it be fear of financial insecurity mm. or fear of some kind of physical illness or a relationship issue I cover it all and I have lots of tools four books with lots of tools <laughs> and it's been great to bring it here well this is a massive issue in London I mean yeah. we work with one of the longest hours in Europe I mean London in particular you talk about this um, this young crisis, a crisis amongst young people, which is very similar to a midlife crisis. Yeah, I think that people are putting a, a lot more stress on themselves than ever. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not really learning how to navigate those stresses and a lot of pressure, particularly in countries like the UK, mm -hmm. where we see people overworking and overtired and overstressed. And then we've heard these guys, they're all drinking, right? <laughs> <laughs> so all of that combined creates a lot of chaos. And so we need tools to start to navigate those okay, ways. Okay, so talk me, I've got my pen, yes. I've got my my paper. Talk yeah. me through these, these, these tools that will help navigate and help us to, to handle this stress better. Mm -hmm. So there's one tool that I love to give that's very, very simple and no one has an excuse not to use this right. because it only takes one minute. Go on. And it's called the one minute breath. Very quickly though. Very, very quickly. <laughs> so breathing in for five seconds, right. holding your breath for five seconds, releasing for five seconds. And in for five, hold for five, out for five. Do that for one minute throughout the day. Mm -hmm. If you feel stressed, breathe in five, four, three, two, one. Hold your five, four, three, two, one. Out for five, four, three, two, one. Breathing. How much of a difference is that really going to make? Your breath yeah. is your most vital source yeah. to bring forth more happiness and more grace and more peace in your life. Why? What, what does it do? Well, when we're when we're stressed or anxious, we're not breathing. So if you start to breathe, you start to reorganize your energy, you start to recalibrate your nervous system, everything just starts to reorganize. And so we have the power to do that without having to go have a drink or smoke a cigarette, we can just breathe. And so that is my biggest piece of advice. Okay, and what about then finding success? Then you say you, you, you can manage the stress, you do that but with the breathing exercise. What about then finding your success, not just at yes. work, but also you know your, your personal life as mm -hmm. well? So I have a big mantra, which is I measure my success based on how much fun I'm having. Right. And I, I mean that really wholeheartedly. When we're in a place of fun and joy, we start to experience a lot more flow in our life. People want to hang out with us. People want to watch a show when you're having fun. They do that so, anyway. Anyway, they they do anyway. anyway, they want the news. <laughs> fun or not. But fun <laughs> is such a contagious energy. And mm -hmm. so if we just start to focus on having more fun and mm -hmm. bringing more joy into our life, things become much more easy and much more flow and much less anxiety and tension. Okay, so give me give me some examples here where this has actually worked, either with yourself or with, with people that you've helped along the way. Every moment of my life. You know, sitting in the taxi, coming here, it was like 40 minutes from me, so I was in Shoreditch, just yeah. coming very far. And, you know, I just start looking out the window. I start, like, playing games. Like, I want to see, you know, more trees or I want to see more colors. I'll just start to be more joyful in the experience of sitting in traffic, mm -hmm. right? Or listen to a song that brings more joy into my day. And so uh, bringing an energy of joy into those moments makes the time pass in a much more simple, easygoing way. And most importantly, it makes people want to be around you and it elevates others. Okay, now if you've just ris ridden from um, Shoreditch to, to Kensington, you've, you've had a little glimpse of what Londoners have Chaos. to face. It, it is Chaos. very much chaotic. Yeah. What advice would you give to any Londoners living here as to how to handle that and navigate through that? Well, the first step really is to choose happiness. I believe happiness is a choice that you make. Mm -hmm. So start to choose to see things with a more positive perspective. Choose better words. Choose a better conversation. When you show up to work and you're like, I'm having the worst day, maybe show up and say, 
I choose to have a better day today. Make that choice, and that's really a massive first step, as simple as it sounds. It's such a big step for people to begin with. Okay, well, I will choose to be happy for the rest of this day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, you're already happy. Exhausting. You've I, got it already. I am happy. I'm working at London Live. It's awesome. <laughs> Listen, Gabrielle, thank you so much thank for you. joining us today.